now, the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. Our goal is to make sure that our players are prepared to play, prepared for the moment. As a receiver, you, you want to catch the ball every time it's thrown to you. And that, the trust that my teammates have in me and my coaches, you know, means a lot. It brings the best out of me, I feel like, and it brings the best out of everybody in the QB room. Coaches want a, you know, a competitor at the highest of levels, and uh, that starts here in practice. We're not really diving too much into like, oh, we're in a competition. We're kind of just going out and playing every day. I feel like I've, I've been through it before. Um, just understanding you have to go in every practice, give it your best, compete. The last time Michigan State's football team found itself in the midst of a quarterback competition going into the brand new year was in 2021 when Peyton Thorne beat out Anthony Russo for the job. Since then, Thorne has transferred to Auburn, leaving the spot wide open for the season opener against Central Michigan on September 1st. And out of the three guys who are in the running, it is Noah Kim who has the most experience. The fourth year junior was the backup all last season to Thorne, playing in four games while also tossing three touchdowns. And as our Haley Schoengart learned, he is in the running for the job because he made sure to stay true to himself. Kim is a redshirt sophomore from Centerville, Virginia. Here's his first throw of this game. To the end zone, caught! Trey Mosley! Touchdown, Michigan State! The big thing everyone has been talking about the past few months is the quarterback battle, but getting your name in that battle has taken some time. Why, why stay over the past couple of years? I think that's just the confidence I have in myself and just the belief in what I have to offer. Um, you know, I just talking with a couple sports psychiatrists that we have here and um, just the main thing was not focusing on the QB competition that everyone else is labeling is just focusing on what I can do to, you know, get better every single day and what I, you know, what I can offer to the team every day and um, just focusing on that. Even a couple years ago when Peyton Thorne was still here, why not transfer? I feel like the transfer portal has really ramped up over the last couple of years. What is it that really kept you at Michigan State? Uh, one, I love being here and, uh, you know, I love the team. You know, I, I want to play with these guys and, you know, that's that was my goal at the end of the day was just play for these guys because um, I'm a servant to them basically is how I look at it. But another, another thing about that is, you know, I just, again, it's the confidence that I have in myself. You know, I, I didn't want to jump ship with when times got tough because I, you know, I've been through adversity before and um, it's just another form of, of adversity and something that I feel like I can, you know, get through. Who really instilled that self-confidence and belief in you? A lot of it was my parents and my family. Uh, they, you know, the things that they taught me growing up, just not to shy away from competition, you know, all the sports I played, you know, I've been through injuries and all that stuff and that's, it's not something, I feel like nothing has ever put me down to a point where I can't come back from and, you know, I proved it to myself that I could come back from anything. So. Um, this is just another thing I can come back from and you know hopefully get to that next step. You changed numbers I see recently. Why the change of numbers? That's just my high school number. Um, you know I've, I've, I've been through you know that adversity piece of my life. I've, I've been through the worst adversity you know that I've had in, in that number 10 and I've also experienced some really great times in that number 10. You know that's just something that I want to continue to grow with that number on and uh, it just feels natural and you know feels good when I have it on. Coach Tucker said that the quarterback must be the toughest person on the field at all times and the most competitive. What ways have you found yourself not only embracing the competition between your teammates but also kind of embracing that statement as well? It brings the best out of me I feel like and it brings the best out of everybody in the QB room. You know the coaches want a you know a competitor at the highest of levels and uh, that starts here in practice and that starts day one of fall camp back in January really um, just getting your mind right to know that you know everything you do from the season from August 1st till January everything's going to be a battle and you know you got to earn your spot every day in practice just when the first game happens you know that doesn't mean it's the end to the competition or anything like that it's just the beginning and so I feel like that's just a competitor's way to look at things and you know hopefully you know everybody else has that same mindset and one thing I wanted to ask you about your tattoos I feel like you don't normally see a quarterback with a full sleeve where when did you start getting tattoos what kind of inspired some of them I know a lot of them are very religious COVID was my first tattoo and uh, it was, it was uh, I got it it was a quote beauty in the struggle and that's just been my uh, that's my quote that's got me through you know a lot of stuff and you know it's just something that I hold deeply to me and then uh, yeah I am a Christian so I just wanted a couple you know, I got a cross tattoo and all that stuff, and yeah, it was just something I just wanted everything to flow together and just a religious piece on my arm, and I don't know, my mom wasn't happy about it, but. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that quote, beauty in the struggle. Do you feel like that's really kind of applied to your life, not only at the point when you got it, but e even now with all of the, this yeah, quarterback battle and all of that stuff? Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, it's a, 
quarterback battle, um, what everyone says it is. And, and at the end of the day, it's making me better. It's making everybody in the QB room better. And so there's light within everything. I feel like, you know, every piece of adversity that everyone goes through, there's, it's for a reason. And, you know, I believe that, you know, God is giving that test to you for a reason and stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, there's beauty in the struggle, basically. In order to build a better connection with the receivers, Kim invited Trey Mosley and Montori Foster Jr. to his hometown in Virginia to train for a few weeks before coming back to East Lansing to begin fall camp on August 3rd. You could consider it his way of trying to get a leg up on Kaden Hauser, who is also vying for the starting gig. We sit down with him when the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show returns. They say you shouldn't. You wouldn't dare. They say you're not strong enough don't have the drive, lack the inspiration. The world is full of people who will tell you what you can't do. Just say two words, I will. There are no small dreams. Begin with an idea. Start now. Dream big with MSU FCU, federally insured by NCUA. As we go to break, Farm Bureau Insurance invites you to register to win an exclusive private dinner with head coach Tom Izzo. Go to InsideTheGreenSweeps.com to register. 